Hi there, it's Beauty Junkie. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me and I'm going to be featuring a new eyeshadow that I have to try. This is from Ritual de Fee and this is the Ashen Ember Eyeset. I'm going to be using the shade Exuvie, Exuvie and it's kind of this like maroonish shimmery shade and so we're going to try this out. I'm also going to, again, try out my Ritual Defeat Cream Blushes. If you want to join me on my journey in getting ready with me, then stay tuned. So usually when I film Get Ready With Me's, I usually just kind of talk, get ready at the same time. Sometimes I kind of go off on tangents, so I apologize ahead of time. I do want to pull my hair back before we get started, as usual, because I usually get stuff around my hairline if it's not pulled back. All right, hope you all are doing well. Me personally, I just spilled soda all over my carpet near my beauty desk. Uh, and I, I put it near the edge of the desk, of course. And I was like, oh, I need to get up and wet my, my sponge. Well, of course it got knocked over on the way out, so. Most of it spilled out in the ice, and I'm in a rental, so that's great. <laughs> but I don't normally have like a soda with like a lid on it, paper cup, but I went to Costco and got a hot dog and a soda for a dollar fifty. If you you guys know if you shop at Costco, they have like hot food to go. Sometimes they have it outside, sometimes it's indoors. Uh, but the one I went to had it outside. It was freezing today, and the line was really short. Um, so uh, I was like, okay, we're, we're going to do this. We're, we're having hot dogs for dinner. And I brought the soda home. Hadn't drank it really for a while. And I was like, oh, I should finish this. So I was like, I'm going to film and have my soda here. Well, that, that obviously did not work out. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to be using the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base as primer. I just want to kind of finish this. It's a really good primer. Um, it's kind of a waxy, moisturizing formula. Um, but... And it smells good, but it just it's a little bit strong of a citrus smell. But this is like my second one of this. It's sixty dollars, but you get quite a bit of product in here, fifty mils. So it's like a a moisturizer or yeah, moisturizer. Most of them are fifty milliliters, so it lasts me a long time, but. I don't know how many of you still use it. It's been around for a long time. Foundation, what do I want to do today? I want to go with something, ooh, actually, I haven't used this in a while. I've only really used it once, the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation. I have the shade 3 Cool. And the first time I used this, I really liked it. So let's see how the second time works. All right, it's a very liquidy formula. Go ahead and try this out. I have a huge pimple right here. I just covered up. <laughs> that has been crazy large and red for over a week. And it is on the mend. It is go gone down and this is still really red. And I've been I've been using like acne medication, pimple patches. It's just taking a while because it was pretty large. I haven't had one like this in a while, and I bet it has to do with masks, but I don't know. You know, wearing masks all the time. I think this foundation looks really yellow right now, and I think I put too many pumps because I feel like I already have a lot of coverage. 
see I have this much left. So anyways, I would like to continue on with my Costco story because I went to Costco on Wednesday night around 7 o'clock and oh my gosh, it was so dead. It was so nice. Usually I go to Costco on the weekend um, or like a Sunday night or something and you know, as usual, it's packed and you know, I try to go to locations that are less busy, but it's pretty hard to predict, um, but tonight it was like really dead, and it was amazing. Um, I always, when I go to Costco, no matter what, I always check out their beauty selection, and I have to say, you know, if you go to Costco a lot, it's usually pretty consistent what they carry, but sometimes they do throw in new stuff. So I usually check it out every time I go. Um, and some of the, the deals in store are really good. And the brands that they carry can be really surprising. Like I got my Surratt liquid eyeliner there and it was an amazing deal. Okay, I think I'm good on foundation. I actually don't think I need to use this. So that was a waste. Um, just a little bit of concealer now. But anyways, so the, yeah, the beauty selection today, I wasn't really anything I wanted to get. They had some Paracone makeup, the dermatologist, and I'm trying to think what else they had. Some Lancome toner, that Egyptian magic cream, um... I think they had some Bosha, that that brand, some sort of skincare product, and I'm probably forgetting something else. Um, but they have a lot of random stuff, and it is a very like small selection that they carry in store. Um, but they the the online selection is pretty good and that also does have turnover so you kind of have to keep looking all the time to see what they have because it's not some stuff is always there but a lot of stuff just goes in and out interchangeably but they have some really high-end skincare and makeup and hair care so I always check out Costco online and I think for the most part everything is legit like it's not fake products or anything but like if you wanted to buy like a a hair appliance, there's no like warranty or anything like that. So it's not an authorized retailer, I guess is what I'm trying to say. But surprisingly, Costco does have some random good beauty products and just really good deals. Like even like basic like sunscreen or lotion, they'll, they'll have like a good deal for like a two pack. Like a lot of Costco is obviously wholesale and buying in bulk. So you get like two lotions for like way cheaper. Um, you just have to have the room to store it. And that's usually my problem. Or I, I don't know. I don't usually love something so much that I want to. Unless it's like a really rare occasion. But you know some of you out there that like have a family. You go through shampoo and lotion and all that really quickly. Costco is a really awesome place to go and I hear people like their like generic like Kirkland brand shampoo and conditioner is supposed to be really good so I, I mean I, I wouldn't use it but some of you may like it enough all right I think I'm done trying to cover up this pimple just in principle <laughs> okay let's jump into this cream so I have the, the Ritual Defee Inner Glow Cream Pigment in Delirium, which is this orange-red. And I did a whole video on Ritual Defee, but um, I didn't realize until after I did the video that I had another eyeshadow coming. So that's why I'm featuring it in this Get Ready With Me. So I also have Desire, which is like this plum color. Um, I think I'm going to go with this one just because it matches this eyeshadow a little better. I also have Circle of Fire. So these two 
kind of go together versus these two going together. So that's the plan for today. And what I like about these inner glow pigments is they start off as a cream, like a really pigmented cream, but they dry down. They don't stay tacky, maybe a little bit dewy, but they're not, they do go down to a good powder and they don't stay like this wetness on your face, which with my cream blushes that I've been buying, some of them stay tacky a little too long and I just feel like I have to put powder over them to get rid of that tackiness, but this not so much. I will put powder on my face anyway, like a translucent, ooh, translucent powder, but these are really nice. They're expensive though, but if you use them for like their multi-purpose design, which is, you know, eyes, cheeks, lips, you could do a lot of things with this and it, if you're more of a minimalist, you could like swipe this all over. Or you just want to be fast. I get that. Highlighter. I've been really loving the Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light Wand. And I have it in Spotlight. It's just a liquid highlight. The first highlighter I ever used was from Benefit High Beam. And that was a powerful little liquid highlighter. I think it's still around, but I don't know how many people use it. But that's what I used to use. My Laura Mercier. I'm trying to get rid of this. I'm going to get rid of it, but just concentrate on just using this one to use it up. The problem with this one for me, like many of you have noticed, is if you put too much, it really dries you out. Anyways, back to Costco. <laughs> it's a surprisingly good place to get good deals. Um, I've gotten several hair appliances there. For really great deals. I am waiting for the day when they have Dyson stuff. I probably will never happen, but I'm hoping one day it will. Um, just because I, I do have their dryer. I got it through Sephora 20% off, but I want more off. <laughs> or I actually want to try the, the air wrap. That'd be cool. That'd be cool, especially for me. Because I have wavy curly hair but the top layer is never how I want it to look so I would use something like that I think I don't know I heard it's kind of tricky to use all right bronzer I'm gonna use my powder bronzer from Sicily this is the Fido touch sun glow bronzing gel powder and there's only one shade of this and it's a little bit um, satin, slightly glowy, not a flat matte bronzer at all. You know, feeling a little more put together now. I've been working at home exclusively and while I enjoy having lots more time to sleep in than I ever did before because I don't have to get ready, I can just jump out of bed, start on my computer. Sometimes I just don't even get out of bed, I just work on my laptop. Um, but I do miss the morning, like, get ready ritual, even though a lot of times I, can, I, I just feel in a rush and just trying to go, go, go. But I think when you're at home, you feel a little less rushed if you were to, like, do your makeup routine. But I usually forgo it because <laughs> unless I'm on, like, an important meeting or call or whatever, I don't try to that hard to look presentable <laughs> if that makes sense okay I'm gonna do my eyebrows let's do the glossier boy brow in brown overall so I tried glossier and I did a video on it recently ish with the past couple months or so and I'm not like super impressed with them as a brand and I'm sad I didn't try them before but I'm also like not surprised that I haven't tried them before because they're not like 
They're a not. They're like a non makeup makeup brand. Um, which, like, I like makeup and minimalism isn't necessarily like my thing. I think the cloud paints are a neat idea. Um, I think that's like the most makeup-y product that I bought. They were like a little bit, to me they're not as easy to use. They're almost too pigmented. Um, and they stained my hand. I don't know. Also not loving the, the boy brow right now in this moment. I have those kind of brows that need a lot of product to be filled in, but it can go real wrong real fast. All right, we're just gonna have lopsided brows today. Hope you're okay with that. Oh, man, I mean, it started out with the spilled soda, so I'm not real surprised. Let's get on to some eye primer and get into using this eye soot. So what I discovered about these eye soots is that you are supposed to use them in a very specific way and that was not intuitive to me and I read the directions and it does say you are supposed to apply them in a certain way but even so I don't know how many people read the box and directions to eyeshadow or it wasn't like that clear even with the directions uh, that you are supposed to put in the brush at a certain angle or your finger at a certain angle in order to get the desired effect of the formulation. So these eyeshadows do not have any like oils or liquids or anything like that in them is my understanding therefore they're a little drier and because of that for whatever reason when you swipe it looks odd and not really the effect that it's supposed to look so you have to apply them like Put your finger in this little round hole because you'll notice right away like your finger doesn't fit like how it normally would when you put your finger over an eyeshadow you actually have to do this and then hopefully your nails are short and then you have to tap on kind of vertically and not so much swipey swipe so i thought that was interesting and not super clear to me but if you guys are familiar with these eye sets maybe you already know that they do kind of feel like they are a creamy texture like they feel different but apparently because of what's not in them they're supposed to be applied a certain way so I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this shade and this is Exuve Exuvie E-X-U-V-I-A-E so that is this one right here and you know I thought it would be a little more maroon like and maybe a little bit shimmery but it looks like a brown like a a reddish deep brown but not necessarily like the tone I thought it would be because when you look in the bottle like you can see shine but I just I don't see a lot of shine in the swatch and so I'm gonna go ahead and show you the other shade I have which is circle of fire try to get my finger in this hole Ooh, that's not a good one Also hard to swatch these shadows. So this one has a little bit behind it, like it's orange and red, which I like. Kind of a Cheeto look. But the brown is not quite what I thought it would be. I, don't know. I thought it would be a little richer and shinier, a little, little bit more to it. 
but you know, you can't have everything, right? And these eye sets, you get a lot of product. They're a little strange to apply in how they look. So this is, this is the box, by the way. These are 5.75 grams. So like a huge eyeshadow, like a big, I don't know, loose eyeshadow size almost. Um, but these are a pretty penny for sure. You kind of have to pat them on. So I'm going to go like this and dig in and we're going to hope for the best. I don't really know what to do with this color though. Right, that's some decent coverage there. I don't really know what I'm doing with the shape, but we're just playing around here. So this shadow kind of grips like a, a cream to powder eyeshadow would. So I don't, I don't really know what what's in here that's gripping. Because it does kind of feel like there's something in it that makes it a little wet. So, I think it's because it's a vegan formula. It's 100% natural, synthetic, fragrance-free, synthetic dye-free, phthalate-free, mineral oil-free, polyethylene glycol-free. Natural pigment and oil can create intense, smoldering, everlasting color between a powder and a cream. It can be worn as eyeliner, shadow, or a base. Oh, it's formulated without waxes. I'm so sorry. It will never melt with the warmth of your skin, making it highly resistant to creasing and fading. I think I had trouble with this blending because it doesn't warm up. That's why I had issues in my first video. But eventually I got a good look after I figured out how to apply it, but not intuitive to me. So it does feel cream, kind of oily, but not waxy. Got it. All right, now what do I want to pair this odd color with? It's like a different brown. I'm not used to creating eye looks that you can't move. I can use a Chantecaille duo with this. And the one I'm thinking of is this one here. This is Tibet. I think this would go well. Let's let's think about this. Yeah, let's let's try the darker shade first. Cuz I think we're in the same family. And I think this is kind of going to be a nighttime look, very uh, smoky and sultry. I'm still forming an opinion about the eye sets. I think it really wants to be like an eyeliner slash cream, but it really grips to the skin, so it, I just wish it blended better. But I do like this Tibet eyeshadow with this color. I think it really kind of goes with the smoke smokiness of Exuvier. I'm actually going to put this dark shade underneath my eye. So in terms of beauty, new beauty coming out, what are you guys excited ab about? Please comment below. I want to know what you want to see from me. Um, I'm not one to like totally buy every new product. I actually don't buy a lot of new products. I actually like to go for classics that I don't have yet just to see if they're worth the hype more than anything else. Um, I'm, I'm also like buying my own stuff and right now like getting stuff quickly even though you pay for it is not really guaranteed and then there's all these people that put up videos before me that get things sent to them early that I just can't really compete with on YouTube so I just kind of do what I want to do and if you see it when you see it then you see it. <laughs> um, but um, Sometimes I get new stuff timely, and you guys get a chance to see stuff pretty early, and if it's during a sale, it helps you decide on what you want to get. I love when I can do that for you and help you figure out swatches and shades, um, So, but 
you know, sometimes re new releases are really irresistible to me, and I do try to get them before they sell out. There's also that, um, but that doesn't mean, like, I'm going to be able to put my review up super quick. Um, but if there's anything that's pretty new or recently available that you'd like to see me review, let me know. Um, in terms of, like, what I really want to try and hopefully we'll be able to pick up some point in the future is the new Sicily blushes. I have plenty of blushes. So the wind is rattling my windows so much that it sounds like someone's knocking. So if you've heard that sound, that's what I thought was happening, but no, it's just the wind. <laughs> I do want to put this lighter shade uh, towards the inner part of my eye. Um, so, anyways, new beauty. Yeah, I want to... I don't need a new blush. Sicily does have a shade that I really want to get, though, but it's just so much money. I just need to find it on a website that does sales. <laughs> um, yeah. Ooh. This is a pretty smoky look. All right. I'm going to try to attempt to blend all of this business. Sometimes I really rely on blending to fix my shape and sometimes that doesn't work in my favor. Onto mascara. I'm using the Pillow Talk Push-Up Lashes from Charlotte Tilbury. I actually don't think this mascara is all that great. But let me know if you love it and why. Um, maybe I just don't have the light lashes for it but otherwise other beauty um there is a couple new brands at sephora that i'm excited about not just to buy any old time but because sephora has their 20 percent off sale and when they include new brands on their website that don't normally go on sale that often it's pretty exciting. So I'm thinking of Westman Atelier, very expensive brand. I'm sure there have, Westman Atelier is on more websites than I think, and I'm sure there have been sales where they have been included. But Sephora is generally site-wide for the most part. There might be limits on the number of things you can buy for certain brands. But if you can get like 15, 20% off Westman Atelier, that's exciting because I don't have anything from that brand yet. Also, they have a rebay, which I don't think rarely goes on sale except for maybe Black Friday. So I'm excited to try more stuff from them, um, especially in their curly range or it's not a rebay, it's Orbe. I never say it right. It's the luxury hair care brand. O-R-I-B-E. I'm excited that they're on Sephora. Um, there's a couple new clean beauty brands that I'm like, eh, about. There are a couple new Tom Ford eyeshadow quads. And, you know, I only have two in my collection. One of them I like, the other I'm very disappointed by. So, because of that, I'm like, I don't even know which one to get. Like, i just not trustworthy. Also, they're $88 a piece for four shades. It's a ripoff, but, you know, the I do like New Dip a lot. All right, this is the final eye look with Exuvier from Ritual Defee. I think this is an interesting color, not quite what I expected. If I were to be able to swatch this in person, I probably would not have picked this up. Just because it's pretty dull, it's not that shimmery or exciting, and it's not as, like, reddish maroon as I thought it would be. It looks like a more like a red, very sat, like, almost matte brown. Like a very red matte brown, not so much shinier, shimmerier, than I thought it was going to be. So, a little bit disappointed with that. Okay, um, 
lips. What do I want to do for lips? No, I kind of want to do pink. We're doing something very smoky. I'm just looking behind my camera here. I'm just going to get a little closer. Um, ooh. This might be a little bit of a dramatic lip. This is Lisa Eldridge Velvet Beauty. It's kind of pink, right? I think that works. Decent, decent. If you like did a little something with my hair, I could go out at night like this. <laughs> As I said, I think this would for me be a more of a smoky night look or if I wanted something a little more sophisticated during the day. For me, I have to be careful with like really smoky looks and going a little deeper with my skin tone because it can kind of drag my lids down and make my eyes look smaller. So I'm always aware of like overdoing it on the darker shades but sometimes like if it's like a dark color you know I'm a little bit more open but when we get into like the browns and grays and smoke colors um things start closing in but I'm okay with this tone it's more like a brownish taupe and that's why I put the Chantecaille um duo with this and I think that really liven things up um but it's an interesting shade I could see the versatility of these and that you could use them as an eyeliner as an eyeshadow they're not the most intuitive to work with and even though like I've used this one before you could see I still struggled using this so just be aware if you're interested in checking those out all right, that's it for the get ready with me. I hope you enjoyed. Hope you enjoyed the video, my Costco story. And again, yeah, let me know what new things you want me to try. I'm happy to answer any questions. If you like this video, click like, subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.